Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in your corner, hit the like button and bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And we are basically hanging around here just above the 200 uh, moving average. Infrastructure bill, that is going to be a thing. And that should actually be a bearish for the US uh, dollar. Uh, but we are still holding on here. So uh, probably what we are seeing now is still expectation that we're going to see more inflation and that the Fed is going to have to increase interest rates earlier than expected. That, um, that should be very bullish for the US dollar, but we have also seen moves like this before. But at the moment, we are still holding on above the 200 moving average. As long as that is the case, we'll probably have a crossing of the 20 and the 200, and probably in the long run as well, a crossing of the 50 and the 200. And when that happens, then we are seeing, going to see this uh, market completely change. We saw it right the crossing here in the opposite, massive drop all the way to the bottom. And if you see the opposite crossing, then we could see this go back towards the previous highs up towards 100. But that is uh, in the long run. Technical indicators otherwise, MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at oil. So oil <clears throat> did get towards the highs here on, on yesterday, up towards roughly um, 73 or 74, and today it has been struggling. It did fall quite a bit to, uh, towards the 72 and then rallied. Technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bearish, the CCI is bullish still, and the RSI is flat, but we are overbought. So we could see this grind towards the 20 exponential, roughly at $70, and that's where um, buyers will come back in, drop below that, when then we have the 50 moving average down here at $66. So let's look at natural gas. So this market has completely gone bonkers. It has uh, broken above these previous highs and is trading at 3.43 at this point. So due to the fact that we have broken these highs and at this point we are getting significantly overstretched and also over overbought, we could see a pullback in the next few trading days, uh, probably on Monday or on Tuesday. Uh, but at the moment, the targets are much higher. We can go roughly towards these highs here back in uh, 2019, where we were at 3.79 and beyond that. So we are in an uptrend and uh, pullbacks towards uh, 20 exponential and the 50 and the 200 moving average have all been bought into significantly. Uh, Probably one of the reasons why we saw this massive decline here was due to uh, massive uh, overproduction in this market, and uh, many of the producers have gone bust in the in the wake of the coronavirus. So, so, so that could be something that is helping this market go back higher. It used, it used to be that natural gas was up around this area here of uh, four to five, and so. Um, Yes, we're getting back to those uh, those levels, and uh, we have basically taken out these uh, previous highs here, and that could mean that we'll go and target four. So um, yes, but at the moment we are outside of the bullish band pullback uh, could be expected, and uh, and um, support should uh, be around the twenty exponential, where it's going to be around uh, three point twenty five. So let's look at copper. So copper is uh, struggling. That's kind of what I was uh, fearing here, that we did break from the uh, old time highs all the way down towards uh, the 4.08. And now we are rallied the last three trading days up towards 20 exponential and are getting rejected there. So we could see this uh, turn around and head back towards the lows. And if that breaks, then we're going to see four and the 200 moving average as well. So infrastructure bill should be very, very bullish for this market. Um, however, this is also a market that has been rallying since, uh, well, March last year. And the pullbacks similar to this one have been expected 
And it could be that we'll see this market drop towards the 200 moving average before turning around. We still have the 20 exponential trending underneath the 50, which is a fairly bearish sign. Uh, but uh, get rejected here, then we could drop significantly lower. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at gold. So gold is also struggling here at, uh, well, give or take, 1775. Uh, uh, and uh, if we don't manage to break to the upside, we'll probably go and test these previous lows again down here at the 1677. Technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bearish, the CCI, stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. But we are on the edge of being oversold. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that would be, um, uh, would be or a rejection at the, the 20 exponential that could uh, basically make this market tumble towards the very lows. We have a crossing here of um, these moving averages uh, to the downside, and that is a fairly bearish signal. So let's look at silver. So silver is also just hanging around here just above the 200 moving average. This uh, has tried to rally several times and has broken down. If we were to break below the 200 moving average, then we could drop back towards these lows at 23. 20 exponential is heading towards the 200 at this moment, and it has crossed the, the 50 moving average, uh, indicating a bearish uh, momentum. We can see that the technical indicators are also favoring the downside. But that doesn't mean that we'll, we can see this rally up towards the 20, uh, that which is roughly at $26 at this current stage. But if the 20 and the 200 moving average cross, then we could see this market go significantly lower. Uh, so we haven't seen that cross basically all over here. Uh, we have been above, the 20 exponential has been above the 200 since, uh, yeah, basically June last year. So it has been above. If that crosses, then we could see this drop back towards these previous lows again. So let's look at platinum. So Platinum has a, uh, fallen below the 200 moving average, has rallied, and now is trading just above the 200 moving average. Did not take out, uh, out the highs of yesterday, uh, but it's a fairly bullish sign today. Technical indicators, they are still in negative territory, and still very bearish, uh, but uh, they are turning around as well. The MACD is still bearish, the CANSI is bullish, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So 20 exponential has been massive resistant uh, the last few uh, weeks see it here 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 and if we get back towards the 20 and get rejected there there's a very good chance that we'll drop down to 1000 and then we have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average and also the 50 in the long run which is will mostly indicate that we'll drop back towards these previous lows here and uh, yes that is kind of looks uh, what it looks like at this point so let's look at pallium So Pallium is um, recovering from this massive fall here. And usually it recovers roughly half of the fall. As you can see that we're right at the 50 Fibonacci retracement. We could go towards the 61.8, but that is probably as far as this will go. We have the 20 exponential here and the 61.8, and uh, we'll, it's very likely that we will get rejected at that point. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So rally up towards the 20 and then break down back towards the 20. If we rally above the 20, then we were mostly going to target the 50. And um, last time we did that, we had this drop here. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is uh, slowly grinding to the upside. So we did not see a massive fall in this market as we did, for example, pallium and uh, and you know, other uh, metals. But uh, this has had recovered really nicely and is trading above the 20 and the 50 and uh, right underneath the, the 20 simple moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the CACI is bullish, the uh, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So break above here, then we could head back towards uh, 2,500 and um, 
yes, that's kind of look more where if we drop back low, then the previous lows here are 2338. Well, that will most likely act as support. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has really taken off today, and we are closing without any major pullback. And we're also closing at the just at the very highs here. So if we manage to break above here, then 19,000, it will come into play. Get rejected here, then we could drop back towards the very lows of roughly at the 200 moving average, 16,700, give or take. Technical indicators, they're all looking uh, fairly bullish and are favoring the upside at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and has stopped there. So um, if we manage to break above the 50 in the middle of bullish band, then we could see this go back towards the very highs. But I think that we're gonna, probably going to see a pullback before going higher as we have rallied from the bottom here. And um, technical indicators there are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, the Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and RSI is bullish. So yes, break above here, then it uh, looks very certain that we'll go to the highs, get rejected here, then we could drop back to where the lows and probably the 200 moving average. So let's look at cotton. So cotton did rally up towards these highs yet again and got really, well, got rejected. Uh, this is not a very uh, promising candlestick. It can go either way. If we manage to take out these highs, then we're going to 0 0.90. Uh, well over from here, we'll mostly find support at the 50 and the middle of the bullish band. Technically, indicators, they do favor the upside at this point as we have been rallying for the last uh, four trading days. So let's look at Kukoa. So yes, we did uh, we did drop towards the very lows and bounce from there. So uh, that could mean that we are going to see this market try to go back to the highs. You can see that we have found support here several times, break below here. Then we are going to target these previous lows at the 20, 22.31 and then these lows here at the 28.90 20, give or take. But if we rally from here, we'll probably run into resistance at the 20 exponential and the 50 and the 200 moving average, and certainly also the very highs here. So this is a market that is all over the place and uh, absolutely a horrible uh, market to trade. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is doing this uh, same as I kind of expected it to do. It's going back and forward in between the 20 exponential and 200 moving average. As not until we go into basically go into this corner here so the 20 is going to move this way 200 is going to move this way and we're already going to have this rallying to the upside or break significantly to the downside so uh, until then it's just a waiting game to see where this technically goes uh, so uh, technical indicators otherwise they do favor the downside so hope you found this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos good luck and thank you very much